My job is to conduct research that helps us answer key questions on uh, an adequate food system for a Mars mission. So in that job, I actually conduct, I'm currently working on four experiments that are going to answer questions about what type of food we should send to Mars, uh, will it have the nutrition that we require, and can we get uh, the mass of the food system down and use resources adequately. So they would have like some fresh crop and some food that we would send from Earth. Well, the mission from Mars is currently slated for the 2030s. Uh, we need a lot of time to prepare simply because there's a lot of things that are determined after the food system is actually in place. So for instance, we develop a menu now, but there are mission planners that need to know exactly how much food is required to feed the astronauts for the extent of the mission. Once that decision is made, then decisions about the vehicle can be made. Um, we can make decisions about infrastructure, galley design, etc. So it takes a lot of upfront work just to make sure that we're ready to go when the mission is ready to go in the 2030s. So right now in our advanced food technology project, our budget is on the order of a million dollars a year, and that includes both internal research here in the Space Food Systems Laboratory at Johnson Space Center, as well as external research projects that have been um, proposed by researchers. Um, we are at a very low level budget, and hopefully within 10 to 15 years of that Mars mission, our budget will increase so that we can really start working towards getting ready for that mission. Well, Mars is different just because it's so far away. Um, we don't have the option to send a vehicle every six months and bring more food. Uh, it takes about, with the current propulsion system, about six months to get to Mars. Um, the stay on the Mars surface is about a year and a half and then about six months to get back. And so we're planning for, that's about two and a half year mission. We're planning for five years just because of the amount of time it would take in pre-work. Well, we've made a hundred recipes last year. Um, recipes that we were able to get from very different vegetarian cookbooks, some things we came up with on our own, um, different types of vegetables, side dishes. Um, today we actually made a Thai pizza. And we really like this Thai pizza recipe because although it takes something that we're used to eating on Earth, pizza, um, it's very different uh, in terms of how they would have to eat it on Mars. For instance, the biggest difference, there's no cheese. Uh, there won't be cheese as part of the Martian diet because we won't have the ability of fresh milk or a way to sustain the cheese. Um, but we made a very good pizza. It has the dough. It has a special um, pizza sauce that goes on top of it and then fresh vegetables as the toppings for the pizza, then the vegetables would actually come from the greenhouse. Um, and it's a recipe that was well accepted by our sensory panelists that tasted it. It's good. It is really good. <laughs>